Hey everybody, uh, Chris from Pebble Creek here. So uh, uh, we got quite a bit done actually this time. Um, we got all the photo etched uh, runs that we had drilled those holes for. Well, we got those all installed now, uh, as well as all the frames that go around the portholes. They're all on now too. Um, <coughs> As well, uh, we got the keel stabilizers put on and all the photo etch for all those intake vents and uh, uh, that are below the water line. So, actually, quite a bit got done. Um, uh, finally, at that stage, we're actually putting something on the ship now for a change. Um, so, yeah, things are moving right along. Uh, right now, too, we got. Uh, was not on this video but we do have the water line drawn out so you know pretty shortly we're going to be adding some color to this and then uh, once that's uh, done then right after that we'll be putting the fiber optics in and starting to wire up some lighting for it but uh, let's get a little ahead uh, <coughs> but anyways if you like a shop card uh, send us an email at our pebble creek dog uh, at gmail.com and uh, I'll get one of these homes in the mail for you anyways uh, let's uh, let's go take a look and see what uh, we got done this time all right okay <coughs> oh, put these ladder runs in Make sure they're straight. Okay, so that's the first one. Now what I'm doing I'm just dipping the tips in the CA glue. I got a A little puddle of CA glue here. And I'm just dipping. Now, <clears throat> to put these on, I'm, I'm putting them in their place, and then I'm kind of pushing down as I release them. Otherwise, uh, they're going to want to come out with, with the, the tweezers. Now, oh, there it is. I was going to say I had cut out eight but lost one and then and then literally there it was okay so that's the first row um, we got three more to do uh, this is going really well so I think I'll pause it and I'll cut out the rest of the ladder runs and then uh, 
we can continue on. Okay, I'll be right back.
Okay, so we got our, our keel fin. I don't know what the pry know what it's really called, but whatever. It's, that's what it's called at this moment, a keel fin. And <clears throat> just gonna get some cement on here. Let this get get a little tacky here. Okay. <laughs> you know, this glue is so much better than the stuff was when I was a kid. I can remember gluing parts on, oops, and holding on to them for what, like, seemed forever and ever, and they would not dry out. And here, this solidifies almost instantly. Like I, I understand, I could still pull this off if I needed to, but that will hold on all by itself. Okay, so the port side is now complete. Um, I'm going to get this flipped over, and uh, I'm going to get the starboard side all completed up on it. And then, um, at that point when we come back, we'll be figuring out where our boot line is. And I can tell you, it's actually it's pretty darn high. It's right around this area somewhere. So this thing, well, obviously, they sat pretty low in the water, I guess. Make a good steady base for them big guns, right? But anyways, uh, yeah, so the next time we come back, uh, we'll be figuring out that boot line and we'll be putting some color on, uh, probably adding rudders and stuff. Um, I gotta figure out a base for this still too. I do have some ideas, but the base does have to get figured out kind of, kind of soon because it's getting, you know, this is not just a static model. This is also going to be wired up. So, okay, well, let me get my things done on the other side, and uh, we'll be back in a bit with uh, the next, next stage. All right, thank you.